not too many people in Europe have even seen EANG's autonomous EVATOL aircraft. So its recent appearance in Geneva for the European Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition was a fantastic opportunity to find out more about what the innovative Chinese company has in mind for the future of public transportation. What you see here is the first serial model of a fully autonomous and electrical passenger drone. It's called the EANG 216. Why 2.16? Because it has space for two passengers and it has 16 rotors. The aircraft can go at top speed of 130 kilometers per hour over a distance of roughly 35 kilometers and carry a payload of 230 kilograms. It doesn't have a pilot, but two passengers, a small cargo trunk, and flies fully autonomously. This aircraft is mainly meant for the mega cities of our planet, where you have huge traffic congestions, where you have huge traffic problems, and it's more for short hops of 15 to 20 minutes. And why not fly for 10 minutes uh, in the direct uh, line uh, instead of being in a traffic jam for three hours on the ground? Ehang's vision is that local operators will establish air taxi networks to move people around sprawling congested cities as an alternative to buses, cars, trains, and trams. Basically, as a consumer, you download an app like you download your taxi or your Uber app. Uh, you open it up, you check where is the next word report, um, then you go to the closest one, you select uh, the next uh, landing point where you want to fly to, and then uh, that's basically how it's working. At the end of the day, you don't need a human being in the form of a pilot to make this whole ecosystem, to make this whole traffic system function and work. Does that mean that no humans are involved? No, not at all. Sim similar to a tower at an airport, you have for such a city uh, a kind of command and control center, as we call it, where you have human beings, where you have people inside, they observe everything, and in case of being necessary, uh, they can interfere. And it's not just uh, necessarily uh, thinking about um, any, any technical issues because the aircraft is very safe, it, uh, four rotors can stop working, it has a very high level of redundancy, and as mentioned in the air route planning you can consider a lot. But think about an emergency case like you have a health issue, you feel sick, you don't feel well, or you just um, don't feel too comfortable being up in the air for, for, for the first time. Uh, and then you can take contact with a person and they are going to bring you down safely. Chinese aviation regulators appear to be very positive indeed about approving not only EVATOL aircraft operations in urban areas, but flights with no pilots on board. And in this respect, they're moving much faster than their Western counterparts, to the extent that Chinese cities like Guangzhou could potentially see the world's first urban air mobility revenue flights when Ehang achieves type certification. And from what we're hearing, Ehang may well be a good 12 months or so ahead of rival companies. I think what we can see in China is that China wants to become from a follower to a front runner. In uh, the classical uh, aviation regulation, uh, the CAC mostly was adopting standards from EASO or the FA area, and in that topic we can see that they're eager to develop their own rules, uh, which can be beneficial for everybody. And I think there needs to be a lot of interaction on a global scale in between the different continents, in, in between the different regulatory uh, entities uh, to bring out the best uh, for the consumer, to bring out the best for the people. Because at the end of the day, uh, we are realizing here the old dream of mankind of the flying car and we want to give back the most valuable uh, currency of the 21st century to the people, what is saving time. In the People's Republic, the business model calls for low-cost short trips that would be affordable to a wide cross-section of society. Our goal is not to build a new toy for rich people, to build a Ferrari of the skies. No, we want to have the Volkswagen being affordable for everybody. And regarding specific pricing, on a good day, if the market is not too demanded, we take a very practical example. I think you can go for $120 from uh, JFK Airport uh, to the city center of New York, and this is the pricing we need to match on a much lower basis. So our goal is to offer a pricing uh, which is not significantly higher than taking a cab or taking a Uber. And this is our design principle when it comes to the aircraft. It's very small, it's very lean, it's very efficient. Uh, we also don't have a pilot because it's another cost element. Um, and this concept of being lean needs to be embodied in the whole value chain and the whole ecosystem to make this possible. AIN's futureflight.aero platform is closely tracking new developments like this with daily news updates and a database of new aircraft programs, including independent analysis that cuts through all the hype. So please sign up for our free weekly newsletter at futureflight.aero and stay tuned.
for more video reports like this.